Welcome to the first installment of Stupid Court Tricks, ways to burn your spare time on the courts and maybe even impress your friends. Today we're going to talk about the frame bounce. The frame bounce is a big step up from just using your strings to bounce the ball either upwards or downwards, and it's a great way to develop your eye-hand coordination. You guys will often see tennis pros doing this between points on TV or in person at professional events, and uh, it's, it's a fun way to kind of burn time in between points. Now, bouncing below your racket, which I demonstrated first, I would say is probably a medium skill level, and bouncing above your racket is a lot more difficult. If you can get five bounces or higher, I would say you're at about a beginner level. Ten, out, ten bounces or higher would be intermediate. And if you, if you can get 15 or more, you're really pretty advanced. Now, if you guys post a video response to this and demonstrate that you can bounce above your racket more times than me, I will send you a free Essential Tennis bracelet, free of charge. So get out there and give it a shot with your camera. I, I think my best here was, was 17 on top of the racket. And just continue to use your frame. When you screw up with the, the bounces up above your racket, use your, use your frame again to, uh, to keep it going below your racket and just see how many you can get. It's a good way to practice your eye-hand coordination.